instrument which has enabled the Reserve Bank to communicate the gist of the monetary policy decisions and the rationale behind it. And what is more, this has also give us, given us an opportunity to explain Reserve Bank's assessment of the overall economic situation, both global and domestic, and also our assessment of the prevailing uh, financial market uh, conditions. So in that way, I think this has enhanced the entire process of communication from the Reserve Bank to a wider cross-section of people and uh, stakeholders. So in that sense, we have great amount of satisfaction from doing that. And from time to time, we have been getting suggestions from many of you. And uh, we try and incorporate your suggestions also into our uh, statements and into our communication. Thank you very much for that. Uh, and the statement is as follows. As I make this monetary policy statement, we can derive satisfaction from the fact that the Indian economy and the financial sector stand out as strong and resilient in a world of unprecedented headwinds and swift cross currents. Unlike the previous three tumultuous years, the uncertainty on the horizon appears comparatively less and the path ahead somewhat clearer. But we have to be acutely aware that the geopolitical con uh, conflict continues unabated and policy normalization globally is far from complete. Headline inflation across countries is on a downward trajectory but is still high and above the targets. Labor, market, labor markets in many countries are tight and demand is rotating back from goods to services. Hence, central banks across the world remain on high alert and watchful of the evolving conditions, even though many of them have tempered their rate hikes or even taken a pause. Financial stability concerns persist in advanced economies. Although they appear to have been contained due to resolute actions, retrenchment in trade, technology, capital flows, caused by geopolitical fault lines and economic fragmentation further complicate the situation. In these challenging times, the Reserve Bank of India has continued to focus on preserving price and financial stability, while ensuring adequate flow of financial resources to all productive sectors of the economy. As a result, domestic macroeconomic fundamentals are strengthening. Economic activity is exhibiting resilience. Inflation has moderated. The current account deficit has narrowed. And foreign exchange reserves are comfortable. Fiscal consolidation is also ongoing. The Indian banking system remains stable and resilient. Credit growth is robust and domestic financial markets have evolved in an orderly manner. Let me now turn to the decisions and deliberations of the Monetary Policy Committee. As many of you would be aware, the Monetary Policy Committee met on 6th, 7th and 8th June. And based on an assessment of the macroeconomic situation and outlook, the MPC decided unanimously to keep the policy repo rate unchanged at 6.5%. Consequently, the standing deposit facility, that is SDF rate, remains at 6.25% and the marginal standing facility and the bank rates, they stand at 6.75%. The MPC also decided by a majority of five out of six members to remain focused on withdrawal of accommodation to ensure that inflation progressively aligns with the target while supporting the supporting growth. Let me now explain the MPC's rationale for these decisions on both policy rate as well as the stance. The MPC recognized that the pace of global economic activity is expected to decelerate in 2023. That's in the current year. And this is mainly because it is getting dragged down by elevated inflation, tight financial conditions and geopolitical tensions which are still continuing. 
The pace of monetary tightening has slowed in recent months, but uncertainty remains on its future trajectory as inflation continues to rule above targets across the world. And in the last few days, you would have noticed that uh, two major central banks have, uh, after adopting a pause for several months, they have gone for uh, uh, increasing the policy rates. So therefore, what I am saying is that uh, the monetary policy, the pace of monetary policy has slowed, tightening of monetary policy has slowed down, but uncertainty remains on the future trajectory as inflation continues to roll above targets across the world. In India, consumer price inflation eased during March, April 2023 and moved into tolerance band, declining from 6.7% last year, that is 22-23. Headline inflation, however, is still above the target as per the latest data and is expected to remain so according to our projections for 23-24. So when I say headline inflation is still above the target, I am referring to headline inflation as per our assessment will remain above 4% throughout 23-24. Therefore, close and continued vigil on the evolving inflation outlook is absolutely necessary, especially as the monsoon outlook and the impact of El Nino remain uncertain. Real GDP growth in 2022-23, on the other hand, turned out to be stronger than anticipated and is holding up well. The policy repo rate has been increased by 250 basis points since May last year and is still working its way through the system. Its fuller effects will be seen in the coming months. Against this backdrop, the MPC decided to keep the policy repo rate unchanged at 6.5%. The MPC will continue to remain vigilant on the evolving situation and the growth outlook. It will take further monetary policy actions promptly and appropriately 